Hi, this is Colin Harris and I'm the founder of Paint Scratch. And today I'm going to show you how to fix a chip on your bumper. Now when we use a brush to fix something like this, you cannot put the paint on very smooth. However, it's going to be a much better improvement on seeing a black spot on your bumper. So the first step, I'm going to take my wax and grease remover. And by the way, you can use a microfiber uh, towel. You can use an old t-shirt, just make sure it's clean. Or I'm just using a shop rack. And these work fine. So all I'm doing is I'm just wiping down the area around it. Getting all the, any dirt, wax and grease. And that's it for that. The next step I'll typically do is I'll use some 400 sandpaper just to scuff up the area a little bit in there. Just to give the uh, paint something to bite with and adhere a little better. And then after I've done that, I might come back with my wax and grease remover again, and just clean it up again. And then it's time to apply the paint. You know, these uh, one ounce and two ounce bottles come with a ball in it. And uh, you wanna shake this paint really good. You know, you wanna test this color match before you put it on the car. And there's a little uh, card that you can dab it on and you can just compare it to your car real quick to see if it looks like it's gonna be a good match. So the whole key here is to put on the coats as light as you can, as opposed to blobbing it. So all I'm gonna do, and don't, don't worry too, I'm just gonna to go to the edge of this scratch. I'm gonna try not to get hardly any paint on the existing paint. But don't worry if you do. Now you notice I'm not wearing a respirator, and I, I advise it, so that's your call, but I always recommend people wear a respirator when they're doing this. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my heat gun, and again, it's gonna, gonna be pretty aggressive to dry this with your heat gun. You can also use a hair dryer, which won't have the same effect, but this can peel all your paint off if you just let it sit there for a while. Now sometimes I'll take a look at it and say, you know, I could probably put another coat on of paint. And again, I'm just gonna dab it to try to get as good a job as I can. So if you look at this, you'll see that I've pretty much filled in that scratch. And now I'm just gonna lightly go over it with a little rubbing compound. I call it rubbing compound, but we call it ultra cutting cream. It's the same thing. So I'm just taking a little dab and I'm gonna gently go over the scratch. Again, this is like sandpaper, and that is brand new paint. So just a light touch over that. If you aggressively do this on the new paint, all the new paint will just come right off. And all I'm trying to do is just get a little smoothing on this. I advise that even with a heat gun, it's probably good to wait a few hours to do this. But heat gun work, it's just the paint is still a little soft. So I'm just going very gentle on it. And again, if you're aggressive on this, all that new paint you put on will come right off. Now I'm pretty happy with the way that paint came on there. In fact, at certain angle, I can barely see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the clear coat on. So it's the same step with a clear coat. You're just trying to cover that. And the reason you use clear coat is to protect that base coat. It's not gonna really make it look much different, but it will make it a little shinier after you use the rubbing compound. And again, all you're trying to do is just lay a little bit over the top the clear coat will tend to dissolve the paint a little bit. So you, you gotta just be careful. You can see I'm just kind of dabbing it on and not trying to mix. I'm not, if you go like this, you're gonna mix the paint up. And again, I'll use the heat gun to dry that clear coat a little better. And then I'm gonna go back to my rubbing compound again. Now typically, I would wait 
probably a little longer to do this. And I'd advise you to wait too, because it's really easy to take everything off now. That paint is very fresh. Again, you're not gonna have a perfect, if you get down here, you can see where I've repaired it. But the idea is from several feet away, you're not gonna see this black anymore. And I think most of you will agree that that's a whole lot better than that big black spot that was there before.